Hi, I'm Lisa, your rock and roll realtor, and today I'm going to be showing you some properties in downtown Los Angeles. I'm also going to be taking you to Union Station to show you the Queen's Gambit installation, and I'll be showing you the famous and historic Alvera Street. Come with me. So I'm at Union Station here in downtown Los Angeles. This terminal was actually opened in 1939 and it's a perfect example of Art Deco. This has all of the trains that come in to Los Angeles and out of Los Angeles right here. The cool thing about this terminal is it has this really awesome exhibit of the Queen's Gambit. So take a look behind me there on the ceiling. And they even have a little model there so pretty cool right they've had other art installations here and they've even had concerts i came down here once and saw system of a down or one of the offshoots of the band they've had a lot of many events a uh, lot of events here oh they're turning up the lights what's happening anyway i guess maybe they're kicking me out now This historic waiting room ceiling is composed of steel beams encased in plaster and perforated acoustic tiles, which feature a polychrome decorative painting scheme. Now this project is the third historic ceiling to be restored at the station. And the goal of this project is to repair decades of damage, including securing loose tiles and plaster and renovating stains to return the ceiling to its original appearance. Widely regarded as the last of the great train stations, Los Angeles Union Station is the largest railroad passenger terminal in the Western United States. Now the station's historic 161 thousand square foot terminal was placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1980 and the station was restored in 1992. I'm here on Alvaro Street, across the street from Union Station. Now this is a historic street in downtown Los Angeles and a part of the El Pueblo de Los Angeles Historic Monument. The area immediately around the 19th century Los Angeles Plaza, which has been the main square of the city since the early 1820s, when California was still part of Mexico and was the center of the community life until the town expanded in the 1870s. Now many of the plaza's district's historic buildings on Alvera Street, including the oldest one, Avila Adobe, the Pelicone House built in 1857, Pulvita House built in 1887.
It's so quiet here on Alvaro Street. I've been here many times. I've never seen it this empty. There's literally no people. There's a couple security guards actually. And the rest of the inhabitants are cats. So now you've seen Alvaro Street and you've seen Union Station. Let's go see what properties are for sale here in downtown Los Angeles. This large studio loft is for sale at $449,000 and it is located in the historic Higgins Building, which combines Beaux-Arts architecture with modern interior design. Now it features an open floor plan with 10 foot high ceilings and double height windows, a chic white kitchen with Caesar stone countertops and a spacious bedroom with a walk-in closet and an ensuite bathroom. Now this loft also includes recently added motorized window shades and the seller is willing to consider an option to include the designer furniture in the sale as well if desired. Now the best part of this is the new owner will be able to save up to 60 to 70 percent on their property tax under the Historical Mills Act due to its historical status. This property is in close proximity to the broad Disney Concert Hall, Grand Central Market, Grand Park, Little Tokyo, Metro, and many dining options. Let's go have a look at another property nearby. This stunning one bed, two bath loft located in the Arts District is over 1,200 square feet. Now it's for sale for just over a million dollars. It's been tastefully updated with a marble kitchen, concrete floors downstairs with wooden flooring upstairs, and it has two full baths with a steam shower and 30 foot bow truss ceilings. Let's go have a look inside. This three-story live-work townhouse located in a quiet, gated complex has recently been remodeled. It's two bedrooms, three bathrooms, and offers over 2,500 square feet of living space. It's on the market for $2.1 million. Now there is direct entry from your dedicated garage space and your assigned outdoor parking space on the ground floor and a more formal entry on the second floor. Now the complex offers secure guest parking as well and a 220 Tesla charging outlet. If you'd like any more information on any of these properties that I've shown you or are looking for something a little different, please feel free to message me and I'll be happy to help you find the right property for you. Also, if you're thinking of selling your home, please get in touch. I'd be happy to give you a free evaluation on the value of your property. Now, please also subscribe and like and comment if you would like me to cover any other specific areas that you might be interested in here in Southern California. So thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.